Hey, my friends, it's Tim Windsor. Welcome back to the Uncommodified Podcast. Today, we're going to dive into a concept that might just twist your mind into knots a little. Ready for it? Here it is. Here is where you always are, and you're never there. But when you're there, then you're here. Now, that sounds a little bit like a riddle, right? A little confusing. It sounds a little little bit like an abstract philosophical puzzle, but it's a fundamental truth about our existence, about our consciousness, and how we experience life and time. Now, just stick with me for a minute. Let's explore why understanding this paradox can actually change the way you look at your life and how you live it. Let's start with here is where you always are. Simple enough, right? Simple enough. Wherever you are right now listening to this podcast, that's your here. It's your present moment, your immediate reality. No matter where you go or what you do, you can only ever exist in the here and in the now. Now, let's bring this second part into this discussion. You're never there. Think about all the times you said, I can't wait to get there wherever there was, whether it was a personal or professional or an organizational there, a destination, a goal, a point in time, there always seems to be somewhere else just out of reach. It's the elusive point we chase, believing it holds the answers, the happiness, the the fulfillment we seek. But here's the catch. When you finally get there, what happens? It's transformed instantly and magically into here and now. The future we've anticipated becomes the present reality. And the distant dream becomes our current reality. The cycle continues, perpetually moving the goalposts, creating a never-ending chase. And this perpetual chase can be exhausting. I don't know about you, but it's exhausting. We spend so much time, I spend so much time of my life focused on getting there, that I forget to fully experience here. And when we get there, it's not often satisfying enough, and it's not as satisfying as we imagined. Why? Because the future is only perfect in our minds, and we haven't fully embraced the present if we're always looking for the future. We're always looking ahead, missing out on the richness and the realities of right now. So how do we break this cycle? How do we find contentment in the here and stop yearning for the there? Well, I think it all starts with mindfulness. And if you've uh, listened to the podcast for a while, you'll remember I did a podcast a while ago with, uh, with Nancy Gentle Boudre about mindfulness. If you haven't listened to that, go listen to that. It's helpful. Because I think it does start with mindfulness. By grounding ourselves in the present moment, we can appreciate what we have right now. Now, now this doesn't mean that we stop setting goals or dreaming about the future. But I think it does mean that we have to acknowledge and savor the journey and not just the destination. Now, consider this for a moment. The moments we remember most vividly aren't always big milestones. They're the simple, everyday experiences, uh, laughing with a friend or family member, enjoying the sound of a river when I'm going fishing, the candor of a conversation you're having with a colleague. These moments happen here, not there. By being fully present, we enrich our lives in ways that constantly chasing there can never do for us. So as you go about your day, remember, here is where you always are. Embrace it, live it, cherish it, because when you get there, you'll find that it's simply another here waiting to be experienced. Now, to help you live in the present and make this more practical, I've got one practical challenge for you. Ready? Let's dive into this one. Digital detox. I've been doing this lately. Pick one hour each day and completely disconnect from your devices. Use this time to engage in activities that ground you, reading a book, going for a walk, or just enjoying some quiet time. Notice how it feels to be present without digital distractions. I've been doing this on the weekend a lot. I leave my phone in my office on my desk, and I figure if somebody needs us, there's an emergency, they'll get a hold of my wife, and I digitally detox. This is a challenge I'm going to give you. This challenge is simple, but it can have a profound impact on how you experience life. By integrating this practice into your daily routine, you'll find yourself more grounded, more present, and more appreciative of the here and now. Thanks for listening. Thanks for joining me. And remember, wherever you go, you're always here. Until next time, stay curious, stay present, and stay uncommodified. Cheers. Have a great day.